it's a little embarrassing. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. Um, when I when I was in Taiwan, my father always worried about uh, when I could get married because I'm not young. And uh, so my parents they always they always told their their friends. Uh, if you, if they know any eligible boy, please to introduce him to me. And uh, so, therefore, I have, I have some, I have some uh, experience about about the going on date, going, uh, going about the blind date. I have many, many experience about this. Yeah. So, <laughs> but uh, actually, I, I never. I didn't. I didn't mind to 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 meet new friends by this, uh, this way, because because all of this boy, they they have they have very they have they have good uh, ob objective conditions, such as they have good job and maybe they have a good uh, background or they have uh, they have an excellent education. Yeah. So sometimes we, we become we become a good friends. And today I am going to talking about a story. It's about it's a, it's a, it's my blind it's my blind date. Yeah. And uh, once I met a boy from my friend uh, from my mother from my mother's friend. And uh, the guy she uh, the guy he he managed. He manages a business with his brother, and uh, his job is his job related to my job. So we have many uh, common topic to talking about, and uh, therefore we have a good time, and uh, we have a good time during our first conversation. And after when he when he when he asked me when he asked me. To hang out again, I agreed, and uh, we plan. We plan to meet. We plan to. We plan to meet. We plan to meet at two o'clock in the afternoon. And at the day we met, I hadn't. I hadn't had lunch because I because I had woken up too late, and uh, so so when I. When I got to his car, and uh, I asked him, I asked him, uh, where are we going today? And uh, I told him I am hungry. And uh, he replied, oh, he re he replied, oh, you you hadn't you hadn't have lunch. And uh, and uh, he told me we are we are going to a beach. Then I think, but um, at the time it's, it 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 was summer. And you know, in Taiwan, it's really hot. It's really hot in summer, and it's two o'clock. Nobody goes. Nobody goes goes to to beach at noon because it's too hot. Uh, but but because I want to, I want to be polite. Uh, so I I didn't complain about it. And uh, but by the way, uh, in the day. My my clothes because he he didn't tell me we are going to a beach so my clothes is not suitable going going a beach but I didn't say it I, I just I just think okay then then go but because I told him I'm hungry so I thought I thought he should have taken me to eating something first but he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> He drove his car. He drove. He drove me to the beach directly, and uh, the beach almost. We 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 were almost at the beach, and uh, but I really hungry, you know, and so 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 I so I so I asked. I told him uh, I wanted to eat something first, but unexpectedly he didn't know where to get anything to for me. And uh, he seems, he seems, uh, he seems just know the way to the beach. <laughs> and, yeah. So after when we get the when when we when we arrive at the beach, it's 
it's really hot. It's really hot. And uh, nobody there. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, nobody there. And uh, because it's too hot to walk on the beach, so we just stay. We just stay in a a a, 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 shed, a shadow beside the beside the beach, and uh, and uh, just talk. And we we left we left the we left the beach around four four thirty. And I I asked him, uh, where are we going next? He said he don't know. He said he didn't. He said I didn't. He said he didn't know. So I told him. So I told him. Oh, I know there was a there was a, a cafe on the mountain near there. Uh, if we if he if we if he want if he wanted to go there, and he didn't answer. He silently didn't answer. So I thought he sh he might have other plans. Yeah, and then then we left. And after we left the beach, he drove his car and uh, circled around the city for around one hour. Yes. <laughs> yes. Then I asked him many times, "Where are we going?" <laughs> and, uh, and he told me. Then finally, he told me, "Oh, we can. We could go out for. We could go out for dinner." But but he totally had no idea where to go. <laughs> so after he told me, oh, we could go out for dinner, but we just kept on circling in city. And uh, finally, finally, I I lost my passion. <laughs> yeah, finally I lost my passion. So I told him if. <laughs> If you did, if you don't know where to go, just drive me home. Thank you. Yeah, yeah this is my story. But <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, this this is a very special and a funny experience for me. And not not every guy likes him. Is he's special? Yeah. But I don't I don't know if I could blame this guy because he is a kind of. Nice person, and uh, he has a good job, but he he know nothing about about uh, how to behave in social situation, and uh, so so I don't know. Um, yeah, so so I don't know if I could plan I could plan to him, and uh, um, many people many people curious about. Why you haven't been able to find a right person until now? And uh, this is a good, very good question because I don't know yet. And <laughs> um, I, I, I think I am a kind of um, unrealistic person because I always just care about the feeling, my feeling. I mean, I always care about my feeling. I don't care about. Uh, the person uh, whose condition or whose whose job, whose economic, I always care about my my feeling. If I feel bad, I don't want to keep going. So, so I think I think I think um, I think finding a right person will be the one of the toughest the toughest uh, homework assignments in my life.